Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Voskin and today I'd like to say a couple words about domestic anesthesia and clarify certain things. People uh, when we're doing live have uh, lots of questions, what kind of anesthesia you do, why you do this, can I go to sleep and why is this anesthesia, is this better, which one is worse. I just want to clarify certain issues regarding that. We're doing domestic anesthesia for the past 15-20 years. Domestic means engorged. It's a local anesthesia because we administer in exactly in the area where it's needed, exactly where we're going to work, and exactly where in the area where you might have some pain. Okay, by administering it locally, we soak under the skin the area before we do the liposuction with a kind of magic to mess in solution. That solution contains simply of two main ingredients: one is lidocaine, one is an epinephrine. One's supposed to kill the pain and another one is supposed to diminish the blood loss, which is epinephrine. So all your blood vessels within the fat gets collapsed and uh, once we start suctioning, technically you're going to see the, just the pure yellow fat coming out without, without any bleeding. The general anesthesia has its also advantages. Of course, you're completely out. However, you have to recover after that. There is absolutely not necessary to perform a procedure and to perform general anesthesia when it's not needed to be performed. Because technically during general anesthesia, you, you have to completely knock out the brain. And the brain is not performing, your muscle tone gets lost, the risk of DVT and ven venous thrombosis tremendously increased. That's why during general anesthesia, you have to wear those boots and special socks. Recovery after general anesthesia is much harder. It takes several hours and maybe several days, you're gonna have some headaches and some nausea and some vomiting. And that's all produced by general anesthesia. You have to be laying down either in a prone position on your belly or supine position on your back meaning the physician have limited ability to access, uh, access your body, either from the front or from the back only. You cannot put it on a side, you cannot put it on another side, which is the big advantage of local anesthesia or to miss an anesthesia that we perform. I can simply ask you, can you roll over? Can you lay down on your left side or your right side? Can you lift up your arm or move the leg? Meaning I'm going to position in exactly best position for the liposuction to be performed. And I can change position how, however I want and how much I want. Okay, so that's the that's biggest, biggest advantage. After two minutes of anesthesia, local anesthesia, you simply go home in 15 minutes. Our anesthesia stays in your body for a good eight to 10 hours. You're not going to feel even any pain after the procedure meaning my anesthesia still stays there and once you go home you still feel very comfortable some people have been even attempting going shopping after that which is not suggested that just shows you the level that been very comfortable um later on of course you're going to have some soreness and for mostly for the first 24 hours you might need some painkillers and after that it's just step down the procedure after recovery it's basically the same for general and local anesthesia because it was the same procedure performed as a surgery so anesthesia, local anesthesia, another advantage is DVT, we just discussed it. That's a huge deal with the general anesthesia. There are a lot of people with a change in calculation status, they at risk of developing deep venous thrombosis and pulmonary embolism because of that. So from that perspective, we don't even put any compression garment because you never lose muscle tone. Your legs are completely okay. Another question I'm going to ask you: What if you want to go to the you want to go to the bathroom during procedure? Like, you simply want to go pee during local anesthesia? It's not a problem. We just take a break. You get out of the bed. You pee. You go back. So the comfort level from that perspective is really, really increased. I just want to mention one more thing regarding the muscle tone. You still have to recover anesthesia. It will take several hours. Might take up to several hours after procedure and required anesthesiologist help for you to go home. With our local anesthesia, you basically 10-15 minutes after, if your vital signs are okay, you completely, you can eat, you can drink, you can just simply go home. That's basically it. You don't get much of a sedation, we give several tablets, mostly for anxiety and nothing else. That's how simple 